How's it guys? Um, this is about when I caught my uh, Shibi on 10 pound test line. We, we went out last Saturday and you know it was pretty fun. Uh, unfortunately I thought my GoPro was recording but it was taking snapshots <laughs> so that's I'm sorry on my behalf on not giving you that quality fight but I did fortunately have you know my dad's friends there they recorded the fight and yeah so here it is so let me give you guys a little background on what i was using i was using my sedona that i used for onshore fishing the same one that i caught my moi on and my rod that i was using was a daiwa g-shock it was like my dad got it back in like 2013 and it was like one of my first rod and reel combos, like actual rod and reel combos. Uh, I think he got it at Sports Authority. <laughs> so the Sports Authority rod can jig up <laughs> sheepies, I guess. Now this this whole thing, it was just total dog shit. It was dog shit. Like I wasn't recording when I first hooked up, and. I was I was just you know just so surprised that I hooked up to something because it was open water I have a 40 gram jig on I'm just doing it for shits and giggles and all of a sudden boom it's just zzzz, you know how she be run just straight down I was like oh shit so I asked my dad to go grab the GoPro but I don't know my GoPro can be whack sometimes and instead of recording on like a snapshot thing and I don't know it's pretty shitty so this is the video from my dad's friend Craig he was recording and I was just pretty stoked about it that he was able to record a little bit of the fight and as you can see the pole is bending a lot <laughs> from a shibi that thing is only made to catch small fish not really made to catch pelagics and bigger fish. So I started doing the circles and then I started just babying the, the fish so my dad's friend could gaff it and boom I waited till the head came closer he gaffed it I was stoked we we're all laughing because it was just too funny that I caught something like that just for shits and giggles <laughs> and yeah it was pretty good fun and it was a nice size shibi too <laughs> so if you're wondering what the leader was, it was a Yuzuri 20 pound test leader. So I did a double union to the main line, so like a wind on leader. And yeah, that was it. And that night we went to go get some Akule. So we did an overnight session and we came back home the next day. And in that night, I was just fucking around again with the light set up and caught this big Aitrevelli or Pakealua. We ate it and it is pretty good. I would recommend. We had to keep it because it was bleeding out. I usually catch and release, but 
this guy was bleeding out and wasn't too happy about that. So until next time, guys. Shooties.